So now it's time to get some coding done. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be working on the social network application itself uh, for quite a while. The first thing that we need to get done is the, the framework behind it. So that's what we're going to be starting on today. Now, the framework was inspired by Laravel, so a lot of the elements that you'll see are very similar. And we're actually going to be using Eloquent as our o, uh, ORM as well. Uh, so if you're familiar with Laravel, then great. This might be a little bit easier for you. Uh, if not, don't worry. I'll try to explain everything as clearly as possible. So the first thing that we need to do uh, to get this ball rolling is to create some sort of class to handle the application. So to do that, we're going to go into our vendor folder into Mr. Terry H and framework, and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call this core. Inside here, we're going to create a new file called application.php. We're going to have the namespace of framework core and we're going to declare our class up here. Now inside here, just for now at least, we're going to have just one method and we're going to name this run. And what this will do is it will run the router, it will start the sessions, it will register our error handler, uh, it will initiate uh, the, the ORM, which in this case is eloquent. But for now, we're just going to echo uh, method invoked. So back in our index file, we're going to first instantiate that application class that we just created. So new framework core application. And then we're just going to simply call app run. So let's see what happens when we run this in the browser, we should get an error. Okay, so apparently we first have to turn on error reporting. So to do that, we need to first find out where uh, our PHP any file is. So we're going to just put in our index file PHP info. And somewhere around here, here we go, loaded configuration file, we're going to copy this path. And inside our VM, we're going to sudo nano this, we're going to use a search with control W, we're going to look for display errors. And we're going to look for the next result. And here where it says display errors equals off, we're going to set that to on. Now we can write that out with control O and exit with control X. We're then going to restart Apache. So sudo service Apache to restart. And hopefully, if we get rid of that PHP info, hopefully, if we refresh, we should get an error and perfect class framework core application not found. And that's because we haven't actually included it. So what we can do is say include vendor Mr. Terry H framework core application PHP. And that will fix the problem. But as you can imagine, uh, as we add more classes, this is going to get extremely impractical. So it looks like the only option is to create some sort of autoloader. Well, luckily, we don't actually have to, because composer will do this for us. Now, before we get started with that, we just have to correct one mistake I made in the previous video. So in this compose.json file here inside of our framework directory, we're going to take this out, take all of this out, and we're going to paste it into our uh, our original composer.json inside our chatty directory. Just like so. And inside our VM, we're going to go to vagrant. And we're going to say composer dump autoload. So now all we have to do is require vendor autoload. And provided that I didn't mess anything up, our error should disappear. Looks like I spoke too soon. So back in the composer.json file, we need to fix this path here. So we're going to make this vendor Mr. Terry H framework, run composer dump auto load again, uh, hit refresh. And there we have it, everything is working fine again. So now that that's done, we can go back to our application 
class and we can just get rid of this. And now we're ready to move on with the next video.